Well, good evening, everybody. This is Gloria Harlow Drummond. I want to welcome you all to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel anytime. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. This is January the 1st of 2016. Good things are going to be happening. Good things. You know, the Bible says, Behold, old things pass away and all things become new. And that means a new a new year and a new dawning. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I'm going to start this off with the Lord's Prayer. Okay? All right. <clears throat> Precious Heavenly Father, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, Amen. Okay, so anyway, um, this may be a 30-minute video. I don't know yet. I have a lot of scriptures to read, and I'm so happy in the Lord. And also, I want to give a special thank you for uh, a special word from the Lord thank you and I love you dearly I love you dearly and I believe it I believe that too I believe it too so alrighty <clears throat> oh my it takes me back to last night to New Year's Eve when my daughter even said mom it, it even feels different I said yeah yeah, it does. It does. Because we are drinking we are drinking now from the cup of the anointing of Jesus. Yes. And she said, "You know, mom, she said that's what that that's beautiful." You know, and she said she even feels different. She even feels different now. You know, and it, it's just amazing. It is absolutely amazing how how the Lord does how the Lord does things and it's just so wonderful to, to have him have him walking beside me leading me guiding me it's just wonderful and I have no doubt that we that he is coming soon he is coming very very soon and we are just one each day that passes we're just one day closer to meeting our Father, our true Heavenly Father. Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely beyond words, beyond words. My, 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 my. I wake up in the night and I just say, I, I, I'd say, I love you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Yes. So, Anyway, if you have your Bibles handy, are you ready for this Bible reading? Are you ready for the Bible reading? Okay, we're going to start out with Matthew 24. Matthew 24, verse... Let's see, well, okay. I'm just excited. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. We're going to start out with... My, 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 my. Matthew 24, verse 30. Matthew 24, verse 30. Okay. Matthew 24, verse 30. Matthew 24... I love you, Jesus, with all my heart. Matthew 24, verse 30. 24, verse 30. Whoops, I went one over to you. Went one over. Matthew 24. I mean, I even get it. I get into the Word of God. I, I, I even open the book, the Bible. I even open it, and I just start feeling His presence. 
in Matthew 24, verse 30. <clears throat> Excuse me for clearing my throat. We went to the mall again today, and it is cold. It's cold. Verse 30. Oh, my. Now, you know that what that means. I'm going to have to read. I'm going to have to read a couple of verses. Okay. The coming of the Son of Man. I'm going to read. I'm going to read verse 29. Now, like I said, I've read some of these before, but when I feel led to read them again, I read them again. Is that okay with everybody? Okay. Alrighty. I hate to have to put my head down, but there's. I don't know what else to do. I know I don't. I don't want to knock over my my mini. Okay. Okay, verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of these of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Okay. Verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. 31, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Oh, I love reading that. Oh, I love reading this, people. I just I love getting into this, and I'm jiggling the table a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Verse 33. So likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Till all these things be fulfilled. Okay. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Alright, no man knows the day. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were, that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. They didn't, didn't realize then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other one left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other one left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. You know, we know not the hour, the day or the hour. But know this, if the goodman of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken into. Therefore be ye also ready, for in the such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. And there goes those goosebumps all over my body. And I'm not I'm not being silly, but Jonathan Winters, but I'm serious. Goosebumps all over. Just in his spirit. My my my. Okay, I know I've got to get on with this. But like I, I say, this is my video and Whatever the Lord wants me to do, that's what I do. That's what I do. All right. All right, now then we're going to go to Matthew 24. No, we're going to go to Mark 13, 24. Matthew, Mark. Mark chapter 13. My, 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 my. Mark chapter 13, verse 24. Verse 24. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. The coming of the Son of Man. This is in Mark. Mark chapter 13, verse 24. Yes. But in those days, after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. 25, and the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. What did I just read? What did I just read in Matthew? See, that's what, that's what the Lord does. That's what he does. 
He does the same thing to Sister Nikki Pratt, too. Yes, he does. My, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the uttermost part of earth to the uttermost part of heaven. My, 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 my. Okay, I better stop on that. Okay. Now we're going to go to... Oh, my. Isaiah 27, 1. Isaiah. I just want to cry. I absolutely want to cry. Not because I'm sad. Not because I'm sad. It's tears of happiness and joy. Isaiah 27. Isaiah 27. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> okay, Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah 27, verse 1, Isaiah 27, verse 1. Okay. The assurance of Israel's deliverance. Okay, in that in that day, I want to make sure this is right. Verse one. Because in that day, the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. My verse three. I, the Lord, do keep it. I will water it every moment. Lest any hurt it, I will keep it night and day. And then, well, verse 2, In that day sing ye unto her a vineyard of red wine. Okay. Ezekiel 5, 10. Ezekiel. Ezekiel 5, 10. Ezekiel. moving kind of slow tonight people because I want to drink I want to drink all this in I want to drink I say Ezekiel oh Ezekiel 510 okay I'm taking my time people I'm taking my time and that's fine Ezekiel 510 okay Ezekiel 5 verse 10 verse 10 
The title of this chapter is A Sign of the Sharp Knife, the Razor, and the Balances. Okay. It's in chapter 5, verse 10. Therefore the fathers shall eat the sons in the midst of thee, and the sons shall eat their fathers, and I will execute judgment in thee, and the whole raiment of thee will I scatter to all the winds. 11. Wherefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, surely, because thou hast defiled my sanctuary with all thy detestable things, and with all thine abominations, therefore will I also diminish thee, neither shall mine eye spare, neither will I have any pity. Oh my. 12. A third part of thee shall die with the pestilence, and with famine shall they be consumed in the midst of thee, and a third part shall fall by the sword round about thee, and I will scatter a third part to all the winds, and I will draw out his sword after them. Thus shall mine anger be accomplished, and I will cause my fury to rest upon them, and I will be comforted. And they shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it in my zeal, when I have accomplished my fury in them, my anger to settle. Moreover, I will make thee waste and a reproach among the nations that are round about thee in the sight of all that pass by. <clears throat> so it shall be a reproach and a taunt, an instruction and an astonishment unto the nations that are round about thee, when I shall execute judgments in thee in anger and in fury and in furious rebukes. I, the Lord, have spoken it. I don't see my voice, my, my face is flushed. His spirit's all over me. 16. When I shall send upon thee them the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction, and which I will send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine upon you, and will break your staff of bread. So will I send upon you famine and evil beasts, and they shall bereave thee, and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee, and I will bring the sword upon me. I, the Lord, have spoken. My, 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 my. The Lord, the Lord is, a, is a loving God. He's also a jealous God, and he's a just God. All this evil in the world, it's about to come down. It's about to come down. It's about to come down. Oh, my heavens. It's about to come down. Like I said, warnings come before destruction. Warnings come before destruction. Okay, Galatians. And we're going to go to Galatians now. My, 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 my. Okay, Galatians. I said it was <clears throat> Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 chapter 6 verse 7 chapters. chapter 6 verse 7 okay I'm going to read, I'm going to start reading from verse 1. I'm going to start reading from verse 1. This is applications of new principles. Okay, it says, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. 3. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Yes. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. Foot 5. For every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. Share with, in other words. Okay, 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Amen. Hallelujah. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall also he reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall, shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap, reap life everlasting. Life everlasting, people. So, and let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap. If we faint not. How many times have I said 
that. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Don't give up, in other words. Don't give up. Ten, and as we have therefore an opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. The household of faith. My, 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 my. Okay. All right. Now we're going to read James 4.4. 4. James. James 4.4. 4. James 4.4. 4. James. James. James 4.4. 4. James. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What did I say that was? Oh, yeah. Chapter 4, verse 4. Chapter 4, verse 4. Chapter 4, verse 4. Okay. Chapter 4, verse 4. And we're up to 21 minutes, almost 22 minutes. Is that okay? Yeah. Amen. Thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Chapter 4, verse 4. Okay. All right, I'm going to read, I'm going to read, I'm going to read some of this. You know how I always do. I'm going to read some of this. James chapter 4. Okay, worldliness and pride. Worldliness and pride. Okay. <clears throat> From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence even of your lusts that war in your, in your members? Ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, ye, yet ye have not because ye ask not. Ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lusts. Your own desires, in other words. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is an enmity with God. With God, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God the enemy of God. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth, lusteth to envy? In other words, follows our desires to the point of envy. But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. We must be humble. We must be humble before God. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. And I just said that the other night, didn't I? Yes. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness, troubled. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. My. Okay. I'm going to stop right. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to go. We're going to go to Acts. We're going to go to Acts, verse 21. Acts verse 21. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Acts verse 21. My, 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 my. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I can't even find the... This is what the this is what the Holy Word does to me. It just gets me absolutely. Even reading reading the words that Jesus said. He he's doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing in me, people. He's doing a, a brand new thing in me. Acts. Acts. 
Acts chapter 20. Yeah, Acts chapter 20. See, that's why the, he's giving things to me slow because he doesn't want to overwhelm me. Because he knows exactly, he knows exactly how I am. He knows how I am. Okay, Acts chapter 20. Okay, Acts chapter 20. Verse 21 through, through 38. 21 through 38. We're going to read 21 through 35. Through 30, I can't even talk. Okay, 21 through 38. Okay, and the name of this chapter is Paul goes to Macedonia and Greece. Okay, what did I say that was? Acts 20, uh, verse 21 through 38. Testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. And now, behold, I go, I go, bound in the Spirit into Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there. Say that the Holy Ghost witness, witnesseth in every city, saying that bonds and afflictions abide me. But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. My, 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 my. And now, behold, I know that ye all, among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of God, shall see my face no more. 26. Wherefore, I take you to, re to record, to record this day, and I am pure from the blood of all men. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. I have not hesitated, in other words. 28. Take heed, therefore, therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over, over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers, to feed the church of God, to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. Yes, 29, for I know this, after that, that after my departure shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock, but no mercy. And what's happened? What's happened? Grievous were, wolves? Yes, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Contrary. 31. Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. And now, brethren, I, com I commend you to, the, to God and to the word of his grace which is, built, is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. Which is all them that is sanctified. I have coveted no man's silver or gold or apparel. Yea, ye yourselves know that these hands have ministered unto my necessities and to them that were with me. I have showed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak, and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Yes, amen, hallelujah. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Yes. And when he, and when he had thus spoken, he kneeled down and prayed with them all. 37, and, and they all wept sore and fell on Paul's neck and kissed him, sorrowing most of all for the words which he spake, that they should see his face no more, and they accompanied him into the ship. They accompanied him into the ship. That is the end, that is, that is it for, for tonight. I'm not even sure what I'm going to title this, this video. I'm not even sure what I'm, I'm even going to title it. Just so many, so many wonderful verses. I'm not sure what to even title it. I may not. I may just say. I may just say my New Year, my New Year's uh, message, my New Year's message. So see, like I say, it, all them thousands, thousands of years ago, when this, when the word was was. I can't even hardly talk, people. I just I feel the Holy Spirit all over me, all over me. I say this again. It's much better living for Jesus than being of this world. It's so much more rewarding. And he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, seek his face. Yes. 
So we're up to 30 minutes and seven, eight seconds. So in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I hope that you got my message. You know, I hope that you received the message of what he was trying to say and all them, all them verses that I read. And I'm going to do the Lord's Prayer again. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. Just raise your hands and give praise to the Lord. Praise our Jesus. Praise our Lord and our Savior. Praise our Lord and Savior. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known he speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet the birds hush their singing and the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me i am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there. Thank you, Jesus. None other has ever known. And the joy we share as we tarry there. None other has ever known. Thank you, Jesus. I love you all. God loves you. And I say this again. If you're not right with Jesus, please turn your hearts over to Jesus. Please turn a new, turn a new leaf into this new year of 2016. Make it your year. Make it your year to rejoice that you are in the body of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. That you belong to the Most High God. You belong to the Most High God. And no one, nobody can pluck you out of His hand. Once you have turned your lives over to Jesus, no one can pluck you out of his hand. And remember, if you resist the devil, he will flee. Say, get away from me, Satan. Satan, get thee behind me, for it is written, Thou shalt not live by bread alone, but by every mouth, every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Amen and amen. Okay, I love you all. I love you all, and Happy New Year. May you all have a blessed and prosperous year. Good things, good things are coming too. And he will take us through. He will take us through. So. I love you all. Gloria Harlow. Gloria Harlow. Loves each and every one of you that will be viewing this video. 
turn your lives over to Jesus. Turn your lives over to Jesus. He will make you a whole better, he will make you a whole new person. A whole new person. Give it to God, people. Give it to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bid you all a good night. I'll say this again. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, let them feel your spirit, dear Jesus. Just overtake them with your presence, Lord. Let them know that you exist, that you are the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. You are our Father in heaven. You do exist. You do exist. So, I love you all. I'm going to get off here. It's up to 36 minutes. I love you all. Good night. And Happy New Year. Thumbs up. Eyes to the sky. For we know not when our Lord will return. We know not the day or the hour. Remember that. Okay, good night.